called Supper. So what I have for you here today is basically it's like a little Thanksgiving at any time kind of recipe. And I bet you guys, my family loves turkey breast, but we don't like to just enjoy it at Thanksgiving time. So one of the ways you can still enjoy those Thanksgiving flavors any time of year when you just feel like it is by simply making a turkey breast. And it is something that, you know, it does take an hour to cook, so it might be something good for a weekend meal, like a great Sunday dinner. Um, and what's great is I, I make a couple of them once, so then, you know, we have leftovers the next day, which are great for lunch. So what I have here is um, two turkey tenderloins that I've already seasoned, and I do very, very simple seasoning with these. Um, I just took, like, one of my cookie sheets, has the edge on it, okay, and I lined it with aluminum foil. That's my secret weapon because um, I like easy cleanup. So even if you're having that Sunday dinner feel, you want to have easy cleanup at the end of the meal because who wants to be stuck in the kitchen cleaning up? My least favorite thing about the kitchen. And I just sprayed it with some olive oil. And I have the turkey breast here. And I just basically rubbed a little bit of, put some olive oil in my hand. I'll show you. Just put some olive oil in my hand. And I rubbed it on the turkey breast and washed my hands. And then I sprinkled on some ground black pepper, a little bit of sea salt, not too much. And here is my favorite, favorite poultry seasoning. This is something that my mom used, my grandmother before her used, my aunts used it. Um, it's Bell's Poultry Seasoning. And it's really good, you guys. Um, again, the ingredients in it, rosemary, oregano, sage, ginger, marjoram, thyme, and pepper. And it's all in this little box, so that's what's in there. So it's a really great poultry seasoning, and that gives it us Thanksgiving flavors. And I pinch that on top. Those are ready to go. The oven's already preheated to 350 degrees, and it's going to be in there for about 60 to 70 minutes, and this is already defrosted. So I'm just going to put this in the oven, and I'll be back in a second. Here's the really simple part of the dish, okay? So like I said, I have all my cookie sheets out here. They came in a three pack, you guys. I think I got them at Walmart or Target. And I use foil, okay? I buy the giant foil at Costco. And it just makes a really easy cleanup at the end. Chopped them up, 
and I'm just going to throw them on the cookie sheet. Okay. And I have two cookie sheets because it's not going to fit all on one. If you have a family of four, it probably would fit on one. But I know my family, I have four growing teenagers, and we're going to eat the potatoes. So I'm going to save some of them for the other cookie sheet just to spread it out. And then we like white onion in our house. I cut it up just for just for intensive purposes for the cooking video because you don't need to see me chop an onion. You could take a knife. I do half of an onion. If you like a lot of onion, you could do more. So I just chopped it up into like slices. And again, we're just sprinkling that on and around the veggies. So I'll use about a quarter of the onion because it's a half of a half. Sprinkle it on the potatoes. And my final touch. This is my cheat, my mom cheat for the week, butternut squash. You can have whatever veggie you love. I love butternut squash. It's one of my favorite ones. It reminds me of fall. So um, these were buy one, get one free at Publix this week, which is even better. But you could do zucchini. You could do summer squash. Some kind of vegetable you're going to put in there. So I took butternut squash because, again, to have those Thanksgiving flavors. And then I'm putting a bag of the squash in with the potatoes and the onions. So we're just going to spread that out so we have our veggies. Just get a towel. Okay. So all I'm going to do to this, okay, is take my olive oil, which I also keep, I keep it also in a bottle by my stove because I use it all the time. I'm just going to drizzle it, not too much, just over the top. Sprinkle pepper, sprinkle some salt, and this I'm going to put in the oven with the turkey. Um, I'll probably give it a few more minutes so the turkey's like halfway. Once the turkey's at about 30 minutes, I'll add these in because these probably would cook a little better at a higher temperature. The turkey's at 350. But what you do is, is once the turkey comes out and you're letting it rest, because you don't want to cut meat the minute it comes out of the oven because then all the juices go away and it dries out, you just leave these in the oven for a few more minutes, up the temperature to about 400 degrees, and let these veggies bake till the um, potatoes get a nice golden brown. And then you'll just serve it, and you have your veggies, you have your protein, you have your starch, which is your potato, and you have the whole meal. And when you're done cleaning up, all you do is roll up the foils, throw it away and you're all done. So your next big step is just going to be cutting the turkey. But again, it's turkey breast, so you're not dealing with like bones and wishbones and dark meat and white meat because it's all white meat and turkey breast. So that is tonight's simple supper. I hope you guys enjoy and um, let me know um, and I will look forward to more simple recipes for your family. Take care.